it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I'm here to show you an unpacking of our very popular Brady style type holiday card, but how you would use this in Canva. If you buy this template, you will get two things. You will get a download for a photo Photoshop template, and you'll also get a link to open up a template in Canva. So if you need the Photoshop template demo, we do have that demonstration as well on our YouTube channel, and I will link it in the comments. But this is specifically for Canva. So once you open up the template link that you will have received in the Word document, you will open up and this is what the template will look like. And you're going to see that you have all kinds of different things. You have your font, your text, um, and the text is already um, has what's called an effect around it so that you have an outline. You can always go in and change the text, but you're going to first, before you can change the text and put your own words in, you're going to have to add in the Brady Bunch font. Now, if you do not have Canva Pro, then you will probably not be able to do this um, and you'll have to find yourself a suitable um, replacement font because I believe Canva Pro allows you to import in fonts. And if you are in the unpaid version, I don't think you are able to at this point of this recording add in a custom font. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can do that. So the font link is also in your document and it will take you to this. I am not the creator of this font. It is a free font. However, you should re read the rules um, by the creator on how um, what you are allowed to do with this font, but this is how you can get it. You will download it. You'll go to this defont, download it. I'm going to put it right here in my little Canva file. All right. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go in Canva. I'm going to go to text box on the left-hand side. And you'll see here, um, it says here brand kit. Okay. And if you go to edit, uh, and says here font and you say add new and then it tells you you can upload a font and okay already I have uploaded the Brady Bunch remastered so that is already in my uploaded fonts but I'll just show you you're just going to add new go to wherever it is that you saved it um, oh it comes in a zip file so you're just going to have to open up the zip file before you do this because I won't let you do that um, so let's just show you what I mean by that I'm going to go find that so I'm just clicking on the zip file. If you're using a, a PC, I think you have to unzip it in a different way. So now the font is here. All right, so let's go back to Canva. Oops. Okay, and we're gonna go add new, find that font file, click and press open. Um, yes, upload, even though now I have a duplicate, but it's fine, okay? Um, I'm actually going to uh, cancel it because I don't need it because it's already in here. And it's just telling me that um, I already have the font, but you would place it in. Okay. So then when you go in to change your words on the template, you can click on and highlight the word. And then of course you can come up here to where the fonts are and it already it should come up already because it will recognize the font that was used. And then you can change it to um, the, oops, oopsies, the house bunch, or you could say the house family, or however you want to do it. You can do that any way you like. All right. And so that's how you would add in. Now, Remember this, you can click, um, you can delete the Santa hat if you don't want to use it. Press Command Z, that will bring you back or, you know, click the undo. You can just uh, remove the menorah if you don't want that. And let me show you quickly how you will import your picture. Again, this is with Canva Pro. So I'm going to go to Uploads and I'm going to upload the photo I want to use. So take this photo first. I'm actually, I'm going to, if you have nine photos, you'll, you can possibly upload them all at the same time. I'm going to upload these two photos and now they will be in my images. 
So I'm going to take this first one. Whoops, I think it might still be uploading. Click it into the template. I just dragged it into the template. And now I'm going to go to Edit Photo. And I'm just going to say Background Remover. Oops. And it should pull the background right out from this picture. Okay, so now we have removed her background. I'm going to drag her to whatever box. I'm going to resize her to whatever box you would like her to be in. All righty. And maybe I'll have her up here. And then I will probably need to crop it. So I'm just dragging the bottom and I'm cropping the image so that she now fits inside the box. I'm going to crop it again. I'm just grabbing the sides to crop. So now she fits within the confines of the template. And that's it. And move her around. Actually, I'll leave her right there. Uh, I think I can still drag it out if I want to see the rest of her elbow. All right. And, and that's basically it. That's as easy as that. All right. If I, if I press this again. Now, once you hit OK, you've now basically cropped the picture. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Usually I do this in Photoshop, so bear with me. OK, so if you want to recrop it, you can do that. All right, and then I'm going to go back to Elements. Actually, I'm going to go back to Uploads. I'm going to take the other picture. I'm going to Edit Photo, Background Remover, make sure that, you know, I was highlighting the, the layer that I wanted to edit. And I'm just going to grab her. Actually, this is so much easier than Photoshop. <laughs> and this one was super easy because she was already cropped for me. So, you know, one of the most important things is when you think about how you're going to um, photograph the people in your picture, take a look at the pictures that I chose, okay? You want to choose them from like the waist up or even the shoulders up. Um, and just will make it that much easier for you in nice, clean lighting with a nice background. You don't have to get fancy. You don't have to be in a studio to do this. You could just go stand against a wall, against a blank white wall, blank uh, contrasting color wall. And that's really it. And then when you're all done, you can press share, download, and then you, I would suggest you go to a JPEG, share it at the highest, well, whatever size you'd like to. Okay, this is already pre aspect ratio or pre-sized for you to fit into a five by seven card, um, meaning the aspect ratio is a five by seven. <clears throat> okay, but the, this over here, sizing, is their pixels, so that's your resolution. Um, I always go for really high quality. You know, go as large as you can. That way you have a nice, you have a lot of resolution um, when it comes to the time to print it. Um, you'll easily be able to print it as a five by seven holiday card. But if you wanted to blow it up into, let's say a 10 by 14 print or anything that's in the same aspect ratio, you'll have no problem doing that. All right. Well, um, I hope that this, oh, and if you do not have Canva Pro, then you may have to pre-cut your images. And there are um, websites out there. If you Google it, um, cut out the back. There is a uh, background remover. You people use sometimes remove BG. It's a lot of different ways now that you can remove your background. Basically, you could just go here, upload your photo. Um, now, because you're not working in Photoshop, you really want to have the best possible cuts, which is um, when you have that contrast between the background and the person you're going to it will make it much easier for um, a, a software like this to make the cuts nice and smooth all right so and then you would just press download download it to wherever you want and then you would go through the same process of then uploading your pre-cut image okay I find Canva does an excellent job of cutting. Sometimes I'm working in Photoshop and I even go over to Canva to ask them to cut first for me. Sometimes it's better than Photoshop. Um, but again, the best cuts are going to be the ones where you have a lot of contrast between your background and your people on a nice, evenly lit um, photograph. All right.
thanks so much and thanks for watching and thanks for purchasing and hope you have a great day.